Hey, what's going on guys? It's right here and today we are 10 and 2 in a classic challenge and we are going to be using a 3 musketeer deck. This is the classic 3 musketeer deck, but as you may know, to be a better player you have to be very versatile and be able to play a ton of different archetypes. Now 3 musketeers is one of my weakest archetypes, so let's go ahead, hop into a classic challenge and hopefully learn how to play the deck as well as wrap up a nice 12 win classic challenge. Alright guys, so this first battle is going to be against Wizard Fuse from the clan north we are hopping right into the battle with a goblin gang defending a goblin barrel ice spirit combination unfortunately looks like we are going to be facing a spell bait deck and a spell bait is a very difficult matchup for three musketeers because as you can see there's the rocket out for the pump now here I'm gonna go ahead and put down a battle ram to distract the knight because I don't want to play down my minion horde as that would leave me very weak to his princess and uh, here the goblin gang is gonna go ahead and take out the battle ram um, right here let's see let's go ahead uh, I think I'm just gonna kind of ignore that and uh, let's go ahead just as we reach town elixir place down an ice golem in the back and uh, see what this guy has I don't really have a good move so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, send in the miner right there Unfortunately, he does play the princess right as I play down that miner. That miner could have been used to take out the princess, but um, I guess we'll have to uh, go ahead and just play along. So here, I'm going to go ahead and play down my three musketeers to try and bait out the rocket. There you go. As you can see, um, the rocket has been baited out. So now I think I can successfully pump up without him uh, doing anything to my pump. So here, first off, I'm going to go ahead and distract the knight, and then when I save up to uh, a safe elixir, I'm going to go ahead and uh, plop down my elixir collector. We can actually ignore that goblin gang right there. I know he does have the goblin barrel in cycle, but um, okay, looks like he's going to throw on the pump, so we're going to go ahead and zap it. The goblin should only get, okay, about two stabs or three stabs onto the elixir collector, so that's not bad. We still have a decently healthy elixir collector. And uh, he puts down an ice spear. I think I'm just gonna go ahead. Uh, okay, we're gonna play an ice gum. Unfortunately, put it just a split second too late for that princess. But we're gonna go ahead and put down a minion horde, followed up by a miner. This guy used his splash control, therefore he will not. Ha he'll have a lot of trouble trying to take care of those minions. Meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and play down a pump in the back, try to bait out his rocket so that I can play down my three musketeers safely. So there we go, the rocket has been baited out, so we're going to go ahead and play down our three musketeers. He's going to go ahead and play down a goblin barrel, I'm going to zap that out. And, and now we're going to have an absolutely massive push on this guy here, right here. So let's go ahead right here, get an ice golem battle ram push on the left side. And uh, let's go ahead and see, let's try and support the right side I guess. No, let's go ahead and just miner out that princess. He's going to rocket out that whole push, he's going to log as well. So we're going to go ahead and spam down a minion horde. Uh, let's see, uh, spam down a gum gang as well. Barbarian's gonna get one shot onto the princess. We're gonna zap out the princess, and look at all these units we have on the tower, guys. It's gonna converge on the tower, take it out, and with 10 seconds left, guys, we are going to be grabbing ourselves a win over this spellbait player. GG right there, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna be 11 and 2 in this challenge, so let's go ahead and, uh, see if we can go ahead, wrap up a nice 12 win classic challenge. We are 11 and 2, so obviously we are, uh, we basically can't lose this, or else we are out of the challenge. Let's go ahead and hop into one more battle and um, yeah again I just like to point out that I am very bad at playing these three musketeers so the gameplay is not you know tip top but um, you know it, it's still okay hopefully I can get us get me a 12 win so here he's gonna start off with a goblin hut I'm gonna rush battle ram in the other lane because that is five elixir and uh, looks like this is either going to be a giant double prince deck or a golem double prince deck because the barb uh, the Goblin Hut as well as the Prince is really popular in both of those decks. So you're just going to go ahead and poison out my Musketeers. That means that I will be able to pump up and uh, we've got these two Musketeers. Hopefully they can get some damage onto the Goblin Hut. Yes, there we go guys. We're going to take out the Goblin Hut. So a pretty good start actually. Two minutes uh, left in the battle. We're going to go ahead and pump up. He should not have... Uh, the poison spell and cycle and it looks like this guy is going to be using a giant beatdown deck so giant again is also a really difficult matchup because uh, the poison spell can just get so much value on defense so here I'm not going to put down a goblin gang and let's go again ice golem and minion horde combination to try and take out that whole push he will log up my goblin gang and the giants gonna do absolute work on our tower so this is not looking too too good for us right here and um yeah, with a minute 40 left, we do have an Elixir Collector down, 
But uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be keeping that elixir advantage for long. So here, let's go ahead and split down our three musketeers. Try and bait out that poison spell. And as you can see, he did have to use that poison spell onto our musketeers. And uh, that way, we can actually just go ahead sit back and uh, see what this guy has to uh, counter my three musketeers and then pump up again and I'm pretty sure he does not have the elixir to just mount a massive giant push so here I think I'm just gonna ignore that dark prince because we can take some damage onto that tower I'm gonna go ahead and rush in a battle ram ice golem combination followed up by a minion horde and then we're gonna go ahead and try and spam in a miner onto the electro wizard I know he doesn't have poison spell in cycle I don't think and uh, let's see, will those minions actually take out the minion, uh, the mega minion? Unfor oh, actually, the minions do take out the mega minion. And uh, here we're going to go ahead and play down our three musketeers. And uh, let's see, let's go ahead and follow up with Battle Ram to try and tank for the uh, three musketeers. Oh, unfortunately, he's going to get an absolutely massive poison spell right there. So this is looking like more of a loss, actually, because with 30 seconds left, our tower is down to 500, and we've barely even touched this guy's tower, so... Um, I'm not sure if that angry face was a little BM right there, uh, but yeah, he didn't have poison spell in cycle So here we're gonna go ahead and split three musketeers right at the bridge take out the goblin hut And then we're gonna go ahead and take care uh, of the giant as well He's gonna poison out those three musketeers and log them as well, but the giant shouldn't get any hits There we go giant will not get any hits and um yeah, let's go ahead and put an ice golem here to drag that mega minion over. We're going to fail to drag that mega minion over. And uh, let's see, let's go ahead and spam a goblin gang right at the river right here. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put three musketeers at the bridge once again to take out both the goblin hut as well as that dark prince. He's going to do an absolutely terrible poison spell. And we're going to go ahead and spam in a battle ram as well as a miner. This deck has a pretty massive bridge spam aspect of it. And uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and put in a minion horde right here. And then follow up with... Uh, actually, no. The tower is going down. Come on, guys. Can I take out the tower? Tower's down to 154, guys. And our tower is down to 563. Oh, no, guys. This giant push is going to connect to the tower. That good luck was definitely BM. He is definitely expecting to win this battle, guys. Let's send in a miner. Hopefully, he doesn't predict it. Let's go ahead and zap it. And yes, there we go. We are going to be grabbing ourselves a super clutch 12-win battle. That giant was just about to swing on our tower and take it out. So there we go, guys. A super clutch 12-win battle again our opponent right there so there we go a 12-2 classic challenge not bad for trying to learn how to use those three musketeers but unfortunately guys that is all I have time for in today's but if you enjoyed please like down below as well as a subscription to my channel and as always this is legend ray and i'm signing off see you guys next time